here we are with beast tamer episode 2 so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and so let's get to the episode Mm-hmm. Obviously starts from the bottom bottom. Yep. So based on rank you have a fixed loan. Or does she just mean like yeah you get some bronze? Coins because you are F. Okay, straight to more action, let's go. Of course. Of course, of course, there has to be someone that is like that. Oh, you have a beautiful girl at your side. Is it just... Is it trying to do a diversion like, yeah, this guy looks like the typical guy that would go after girls from others, right? Or does he look like a guy like that and then it turns out that he is a nice guy? What will it be? Is he actually one of those or does the show want to just make you think that way? Based on that it cuts to the intro, I would, I could imagine that it's maybe just trying to look like it, but it turns out that he is a nice guy. It seems like, because it feels like a bit of build up, right? If it was just like the typical douche, then I guess they could have just dealt with him immediately. We will see. Comrades. Okay, it's a douche. <laughs> Hey, then I can just beat you up. <laughs> Okay. Not straight to like beating him up, but like arm wrestling. I mean, why even bother, right? You could just say, dude, fuck off, I'm out of here. I mean, he said he is not strong, right, on his own. <clears throat> I 
I mean, is that how it works? <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Well, I saw her, I found her, I tamed her. Sim similar vibes to Nell from Reincarnated as a Sword. Has a nice face, but then the true colors come out. <laughs> because you tamed me, you got stronger. So, if he has the potential to tame multiple ultimate species, then he gains their power. So he can become so powerful if he makes more con more if he tames more ultimate species. I mean, if, I mean, we don't know it, but if there is like no limit to how many ultimate species he can, he can tame, then yeah, his potential is limitless, basically. Taming rabbits again. Of course she does. <laughs> Just beat him up easy. <clears throat> I wonder when he will get his next ultimate species. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. <laughs> the Naruto run <laughs> arms in the back oh my god he just beats them up they are evil and dangerous And then comes K 
can it? Is that what normally happens? <clears throat> is that what normally happens? That it like corrupts the person? Or is it because they get so much power that they start doing bad shit? Because they feel like, oh, I'm so strong and now I can do whatever I want. Or is it like that it actually corrupts them? She falls for him. <laughs> of course she does, dude. He's so manly and badass. Dude, he beat him all up by himself. <laughs> but I have nothing to give you. Yeah. <laughs> a man on a mission. <clears throat> Gotta catch them all, I guess. And what is that? Just beat him up. Like I did with the other guys earlier. Bro, <laughs> that is so fucked up. Just send an army of bees that can paralyze people. I thought it was normal. <clears throat> How many versions of tamers are there? Beast tamers, insect tamers, human tamers. Let's go. <laughs> <clears throat> it's about time. Let the war begin.
What did they say about him being useless? Look, they are useless. They are running away. They were the group? Wait, what? Did they split up? They got another one? More than one? That's impossible. And he's just like, yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> they don't realize that Rain was special. What the fuck? He just killed, wants to kill him now? Bruh, these heroes are so fucked up. <clears throat> no way is Rain special. That's inconceivable. Until then, they see him with a group of ultimate species, and they're like, oh shit, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, I was wondering, didn't the Knights was supposed to come? But it, just some random people came? <laughs> Monster? I guess so, something was looked up. <clears throat> what are those? King lizards, okay. <clears throat> he thought he could control him. Mm hmm. I was. I 
I was just thinking. He kept them all as pets? Bruh. Dude, having only one ultimate species makes him from useless in fights to already super powerful. Imagine he has like five ultimate species. Especially when one of them is a Dragonoid. Which are probably very strong. Dude, he doesn't even need a weapon, he just punches shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> he isn't also not using any magic or anything. He just punches shit. And that's it. Bro, are you in crack? It's not about her being my familiar or being an ultimate species, which is the whole reason why he is so strong right now. <laughs> yeah, bro. Coping hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, <laughs> I mean... We went from last episode, where the most important thing is basically that we don't know all the information about the whole Beast Tamer thing, right? <coughs> to know this episode, where it's basically, well, our boy's broken as fuck, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting, because we have now this other Tamer, and he says, hey, you can only tame one animal and that's it more than that impossible but rain said that in his hometown or in his at, at his home or in his home um it's normal that you can tame multiple uh animals right <coughs> where we don't know is does he mean with home where he comes from, like his town, his village, that there are maybe many tamers and they all can do it? Or does he mean with home, literally his home where his family is and that his family is like very gifted special tamers? Um, well, whatever the case, he's special, but apparently not the only one. But for the majority of all the tamers, it's impossible to have like one than more animal tamed. <coughs> and yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what Kanade, I think her name is, um, what she meant with the power could corrupt him. Like I said, I don't know if she means maybe in terms of now that he has a power, that he suddenly starts to abuse the power um, and starts to do starts to do dip, 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 starts to do bad stuff with it because he feels almighty or whatever or if she meant literally it could or it's corrupting people if they get the power of like and maybe ultimate species or maybe of the cat spirits i don't know <coughs> i would assume that she means now that he got all this power that it could that to corrupt him because he would abuse the power right for his own gains i guess but 
that's not the case since he still wants to do good stuff with it right he didn't really change from getting all this power i guess that's <clears throat> what it was all about and yeah it's funny that sorry <laughs> um it's funny that we have two people from the hero guild a uh, hero group that want to do a small job on the side and they had to run from the bandits that rain beat up solo <clears throat> which is interesting because this girl is like yeah i know 1000 spells and she has like no spell at all that she can cast quickly to defeat some random bandits i mean we don't know how strong these bandits are maybe they, they are super strong <coughs> but if that's the case then how strong is rain right now that he can't beat them all by himself right and if they are not super strong then how could it come that two from the hero group had to run away i mean <clears throat> yeah one is a healer one is a mage obviously they are not meant for melee combat right but does she have like no spell that has like a short cast time that she could use really quickly and beat up some bandits if they are not that strong and if she's so super strong i mean <clears throat> she threatens this tamer and it's like here uh i kill you if you don't go and tell every everyone that you took the job by your on your own and all that stuff and you failed on your own um so that their reputation got doesn't get gets messed up but if they are so bad in melee combat and can't cast anything really then i would imagine that even this tamer could have beaten them up if they're basically just two girls but i guess maybe the tamers are all like the peaceful guys that don't want to hurt anyone so he would probably never do that i guess but i i mean it's yeah it's kind of weird i would say in that regard because she had a flame on her stick <clears throat> without any incantations or any anything so i guess she must have some spells she could use quickly i don't know it's kind of weird that she just had to run away from these fights but okay i mean it it, it makes it a bit interesting right in in the regards not really that it's interesting but that they kicked out rain, uh, rain because he was so useless and now it basically gets turned around right now rain is super strong and all that shit and a fight where they had to run from he can do by himself <clears throat> which is crazy how strong he be has become now right and i mean this is just with one ultimate species right he gets the girl with the um i guess the dragonoid like i said i think he gets her um and i don't i don't think he gets her then two fairies or whatever they are and then another one right so overall that must be five girls at least that he gets and i think they are all ultimate species if one can give him so much power imagine how it turns out when he has five I don't think that all of them will give him the same amount of power right i guess some might be stronger and give more power than others so i guess a dragonoid might be stronger than the cat spirit so that might give him more powers and the fairies might be a bit weaker but maybe have some other special abilities that are useful so he doesn't get as much power from them I mean that's still five ultimate species he gets that are probably all pretty powerful <clears throat> plus all the other temporary contracts he can make i mean having like an army of beasts that can paralyze someone for half a day and it, it's it's <clears throat> he has all this potential even without the ultimate species he can control beasts that can paralyze someone for half a fucking day and he can get a whole army of it and you want to tell me that he never used it before and was always useless <sighs> yeah 
yeah and of course the hero party girls think now man this tamer we hired is so full of shit no way rain is special or something or he has like potential is special is strong whatever um yeah of course they think that it's a lie because rain was always so weak um but yeah it's uh, yeah what I think is the craziest part is they kicked out Rain because they say here you are useless you are just like a big hindrance we always have to uh, protect you and everything and what is the first move basically I mean I guess it's maybe like I think it's the same day right I think he got kicked out isn't this the same day he got kicked out went to the guild to get to become an adventurer did the adventure quest came back with Kanade or whatever her name is became an adventurer and then he's like i and then he's like i want to immediately do the next job so either it's the same day as he got kicked out or maybe it's the next day i think more than that shouldn't be the case from what it seems like it seems like it's the same day or maybe the next day and we didn't saw the night time or whatever <clears throat> and so they basically kicked out rain and the first thing they do for the side job is to hire another beast tamer where they said that they are useless why not something else if you need someone in the in the front line hire a warrior a knight something like that why a beast hammer when you think and or know that beast hammers are not that strong i mean i mean we all know why it happened right so that they can see this beast hammer being like hey having only like one animal tamed is all we can do multiple is impossible so to alleviate that again right that that they can tell us again rain is special that's the whole reason why this tamer is here right now or was here um but i think it's just a bit <laughs> it's a bit dumb they kick out one tamer and immediately get the next tamer <laughs> but i mean yeah that's the episode so yeah um we basically went from zero to hero like literally right last episode can't do shit solo has to be protected all the time from the flashbacks we saw and now in this episode he can beat up a whole bandit gang by himself so yeah we will see how it goes right i mean yeah that's the thing right <laughs> we will see how it goes i'm i'm wondering when we will get the next ultimate species <clears throat> I mean we got we saw the dragon girl and we saw two fairies or whatever and I think the the cat girl the neko girl the other one uh, the nine tails one I think I wonder if that's something similar like harem in the labyrinth where it's like yeah we show you all the girls but you only get really one for the most part to see and then at the end you get the second one and then at the very end uh, for the last few minutes you see all of them a little bit i wonder if that will be the same here that we have mainly canada and then maybe towards the end of the season we get maybe one more and then maybe we see at the very very end all of them somehow a bit or something and then at the end right or if we will get all of them in the season and have with all of them a few episodes right <clears throat> i hope we get them all and not just that it gets hinted at it's some uh, it's the end or, some, or something but yeah i'm i'm mainly looking forward to the red hair girl the dragonoid uh so yeah we will see okay that's the episode <sighs> yeah it, it was a bit funny right i would say because it's just so over the top right now from because like i said from zero to hero um, he's so strong right now and the potential he has is so crazy so yeah it's 
based on that it's very funny right now <clears throat> and i can't wait to see how it continues when we get the next girl tamed and i'm especially looking forward if we see maybe the hero guild and they realize the big fuck up they did when they kicked him out but i mean if they kicked him out he would have never gotten the ultimate species canada and so this whole thing would have never really started and they would probably never see his full potential right so yeah i mean <clears throat> if they just kept him then they would always think that he's useless and bad and nothing really would have changed so yeah but yeah like i said that's the episode so yeah if you like what you saw leave a like subscribe leave a like subscribe ah! <laughs> leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think i would say thanks for watching until next time bye bye